the illegals that have been on the FBI terrorist watch list. And when you look at that, you look at 2017, non-U.S. citizens, there's two. You look at 2020, there were three. You go to 2023 under Biden, there were 172. This year already, you've got 70 illegals that are on the FBI terrorist watch list. So when you hear Christopher Wray, and he's warning the American citizens about an ISIS-K threat or an ISIS threat network that's smuggling in illegals, that, that they're responsible for that. They are allowing them into our country, and you cannot say that there is not going to be a terrorist attack here on American soil, when you allow millions of illegals that we have no background, like you just said, Victor, we don't have any vetting on any of them at all. So what is the likelihood, Victor, Victor that we'll have a terrorist attack here on American soil? Unfortunately, it's very high. And, and let me tell you, uh, uh, my friends and colleagues, uh, retired agents, but uh, others with different departments within the uh, and these we know the threat as we spend a lot of time on the border i travel throughout the border and the interior part of the, the country and we've been hearing this for months and so we're not surprised when the fbi actually comes out and says it and so uh i think that the, the people the american people deserve to be informed and deserve to understand what the threats are 